Corey. Oh, someone's on it. Make it? No, they did not make it. That thing was crazy. Welcome back, everyone. I'm in the airport. Pretty gnarly. I got home from the Arctic at 4 a.m. on Monday after 24 hours of travel. Thought I was gonna be home for at least a week. Tuesday morning I woke up to a phone call and an email about going to Tahiti on Wednesday. Made it happen. Uh, Fisher Heavily packed up my boards that were in Hawaii. All my guns were there. Uh, borrowed a board bag from Mike Latronic. Fisher dropped the bag off at the airport with Eli Olson who took my boards to Tahiti. They're already there. And now I'm in LAX. I got one flight and I get there tonight. Gonna be there a week. Finally checking Tahiti off the list. I have not shot anything of the travel or the trip because I'm just absolutely drained. It has been the gnarliest month of travel. Like I was saying, it's been the gnarliest month of travel and waves I've had maybe ever as far as coming home for like a day and leaving again, back to back trips. So I'm just trying to like get my body right so that when I get to hit Tahiti, I'm ready. So we'll just go ahead and fast forward from here, LAX to here in Tahiti. I just want to thank Brett for the coffee this morning. You never make very much, but it's always impactful. <laughs> well, Tori's been drinking coffee. I haven't, because it's been big. I've been scared. <laughs> I can't drink coffee if I'm nervous. Walk outside and check the waves. Right. No, Tori. Actually, see the wave now. Wow, that thing was sick. Thing was so oh my god. Good. West Pole. Oh, it didn't. Do There's your right. Oh, right. So, every morning pretty much consists of just waking up, walking out here, watching the waves. Um, the first morning, it was bombing, and that was the first time I'd ever surfed Chopu, so I was very nervous. <laughs> and um, I was like 15 to 20 feet on the face and kind of took my time getting ready. And uh, yeah, it was a good learning day. I kind of took it easy just figuring out the reef. Yeah, we got more waves coming and the mornings are pretty rad. Just watching the waves, eating breakfast and paddling out straight from the house. Yeah. 
First board casualty. Only wave I caught this morning and paddled out. Found a west bowl that I thought was gonna be good and it was not. Um, most everyone that it was had already been out was coming in anyway because it was getting worse. So yeah, now we're just gonna get some lunch and wait and see what happens. Hopefully swell's supposed to pulse back in this afternoon into tomorrow, but getting a good wave here has been harder <laughs> than I thought it'd be. Meister's first trophy barrel. Don't grab, no grabbing. This is what it's like not to grab. So right there, it's the only restaurant in town, pretty much where everyone eats. The only downside is it doesn't open until 11. You're on your own for breakfast. Making the midday trek down to the, the late morning trek down to the grocery store. It's rad, it's such like a quiet little town. It doesn't feel like a surf mecca with the best wave in the world's out the back. One of the raddest things about it is like, the people here are just so genuine and kind and it just feels like, you know, a little village in the middle of nowhere. I saw the water falling, it was cool. <laughs> we can hear it, but we can't find it. Well, we effectively have hiked up this mountain and found no waterfall. We've been following the water for pretty far up what seems like a path. I don't know, I missed it. Turns out the first spot that we came to actually was it. And then we walked away from it, a bunch of dinguses. So the swell has jumped up quite a bit since this morning. I'm looking at two guys now who've been lagooned and are swimming in. Yeah, the butterflies are officially kicking in as this new swell's building. I think I might write a 6-6 six because six it's supposed to keep building throughout the day. I don't want to be out there and have a bomb come through and not have a board big enough to catch it. <laughs> All right, here we go, swell number two.
Got it good. Oh, there you go. Just show up a breath. Face. <laughs> Face. 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 Yeah. Come on, Come on. Kick. Face. It's a photo, smile. It's a video clip. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are on the other side. Oh yeah, I'm on the wrong side. <laughs> get me out of here. You're in it. You're the guy. We need like that model boost, you know? <laughs> Make sure you get my um my spring suit tan really good. I, ten minutes. Ten minutes what? Wait, ten, more ten more minutes, we're going out and we're going to watch it for ten minutes. Come out, want to participate in the group. Take it home with you. I'll tell you. It's tight, dude. Let's see. Let's see. Give a, little, give a little knock. Give a little knock on the tree. See if it was still a proper hit. No, that was a proper hit. Oh, it's going out the back. Why is this guy so negative over here, dude? Just being honest. Why is this guy so negative? Is that We're negative or is that an time. honest review? Is that an honest internet review of a product? Would you buy that if you knew it was going out the back? Or We're do you having want to be a like, great time here. It's over, man. It's over. It's over. Over. We gotta get going. Yeah, I know. Well, the trip has officially come to a close. Waves did turn on this morning, but once again, pulse number three for the week was really, really inconsistent with a lot of guys wanting waves. Being my first time here and the bottom of the totem pole, I'm definitely bummed to go home not getting the wave I wanted. Uh, but it was a great time. So this place is magical. One of my favorite places in the world, hands down. And uh, I'd really love to come back next year. I got the reef a little bit figured out, met some of the boys, and um, yeah, to just come back on a swell that maybe isn't as hyped as this one. There's just a lot of people here all wanting a piece of pie, that, and there was very <laughs> limited slices. Time to go home, we're packing up. Tori's packing his bat boards. I gotta get mine, we're gonna head to the airport, start the mission back. Getting a ride to our ride. Vlogging. I've done vlogging from a porta potty and now from a phone booth. So here's the current deal. I'm at the airport. I'm checked in for my flight. The board bag is going to Hawaii. Benji Brand is being a legend and he's gonna take it back for me. Big shout out to, first of all, Tori Meister. My boards were at his house. He arranged with his family for my friend Fisher Heverly to come pick him up. Fisher got a board bag from Mike Latronic. Said I could borrow one after my team manager, Neil Garth Tarlow, called him and asked him, and then dropped them off at the airport where Eli Olson brought them down to Tahiti. <laughs> hey, hey, John. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Then Tori Meister and Seth De Relay for housing me when I showed up and didn't have a place to stay. This trip could not have happened without any of you guys. Thank you so much. I owe all of you. <laughs> it's been a long five weeks of travel and surf. Ready to see my family.